Hi everyone, Debbie here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to do some prep in my Happy Planner for the month of October. And I'm in Canada, so this is a little different. So we have Thanksgiving here in Canada on the 14th of October, this Monday, and Halloween is on the 31st. So I was thinking of doing a Halloween theme throughout the whole month of October, but I always find that that's a little bit um, off-putting to me because then I don't get to decorate for Thanksgiving. So I took my ruler and drew a line straight across. So staying on this line because this kind of is this box. So it would be straight up. So it's kind of off a little bit, but it kind of divides my calendar this way, my monthly, into Thanksgiving on this half and Halloween on this half. So I think I'm going, I'm going to try to do that. I'm also going to do this currently page here and I'm going to divide it the same way and that's going to be how I'm going to divide my themes up for October. So I have my pages out. So let me see how I can do this. So I have to decorate this month here. I have stickers from September, October, and November because I've got these orange and fall colors. And of course, yeah, it, because most of these stickers come from my friends south of the border and their Thanksgiving is in November. I have to go to November for the Thanksgiving sticker and for the you know, just a few little Thanksgiving things in here. The turkey. But the really cool thing is that on this color scheme, it's orange and purple. And October is orange and purple too. So it'll work. It's a slightly different shade of orange, but it'll still work. And if I want to grab a few of these things, because I didn't use this sticker sheet for September, I've got those. And those are all in this set of stickers. There are, I forget how many sticker sheets in here, 24 sticker sheets or something. But this is called the Zikto, I think that's how you say it, the Greenery Sticker Set. And I got this on Amazon. So I will, if I can find this, I'll link it in the description box. But I always put a link in there to my Amazon storefront. So I have all kinds of things linked in my planning and paper crafting supplies in my storefront. So go and see where I got this. Hopefully it's linked in there. I'll try to do a double check if I remember. I also have these sticker books as well. So this one is a year in stickers. And if I go to October and November in here, I have some really cool stickers for Halloween. And flipping through to November, of course, once again, it's an American sticker book. And this has quite a few things for Thanksgiving. I am going to start with some washi tape here. I'm going to grab this thin washi tape right here. Good gosh. I'm going to go to these stickers right here. And I'm wondering, do I want purple or orange? Because I love, love, love this purple on here for Halloween as well. So I've got black. Do I want to do instead of that? What about something like this purple? Doing some purple and some orange. So this is how I'm thinking of dividing my page up. So do I want to do a purple on the Halloween side? Kind of like this. 
yeah trying to get it right on that line and this is a really thin washi tape and it kind of stretches and and um it'll kind of curve if you pull it too hard one way so i have this I'm going to cut this because this this is a really kind of wonky washi tape. It never quite rips straight for me. This is a cheap set, again, from Amazon. Yes, definitely a cheap set from Amazon. So... And I'm just, I'm going to cut it, but just using my card to get that edge straight. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put this orangey color above. And then I get my page divided, but I also get the two main colors in here all the way across. And hopefully this will kind of tie everything on both of the sides together. And uh, yeah, so I've, it's hard when you've got two major events in one month. Um, it's hard to figure out what to focus on for your monthly layout. So, I mean, I think I'm going to do Halloween for most of the month. And then I'm going to decorate just the week of Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving. If that makes sense. there so i have a little bit of a start so here i'm gonna grab my orange i think i'm gonna do a bright orange and do happy thanksgiving actually i'm gonna put off on that because I, I might just put that sticker there so where is that sticker happy Thanksgiving right here yes I think I'm gonna wipe this out I kind of jumped the gun a little bit by putting um, happy Thanksgiving here and it's indigenous people's day in the States I think ours is earlier in the year So I'm going to put that there. Happy Thanksgiving. And I have this really wonderful Happy Halloween here. And I'm going to put it down here at the end after the 31st. Because on the 31st, I want to do the 31, just in large letters. I need my block to do that. And then I'm just going to do the traditional little squiggle for my spider. I just call it a squiggle spider because that's basically what it is. And then I'm just going to take my black pen and write Halloween around that.
Halloween. And then because I had that sketched out in pencil, let's get rid of it. So I have my little 31 there. So you don't always need a sticker. And what I'm going to do right here is because that was just where I went around there with the just where I went around for the, the spider. I'm just going to cover that little bit of bleed through there so that I don't have it when I turn my page to do my next spread. So I've got these and this. So Thanksgiving, I'm going to go to the November. I have this really cutesy Pilgrim's hat in the purple and the orange. I have this really cutesy a little turkey. I'll probably still be eating leftovers by then, so I can put that a little bit down there. And I'm going to do the October up here. So I have that there. I think that these fall boots in the purple and the orange are sweet as can be as well. And I'm just going to put them I'm just going to put it at the top of my sidebar. I like this little one here. It says grateful. So let's put this over on this side, maybe there. And then I've got a little acorn. I like this kind of uh, purple and gold, dark purple and gold little to-do list. So I could do a to-do list on my sidebar. I've been known to do that before. And this coffee mug. I don't have any birthdays or anything like that in October. So I'm going to move on from this one. I'm going to go to the year and stickers sticker book and go to October and November. And let's do some of these in here. So I've got this dark purple Happy Halloween. But I love this. I put a spell on you because it's got the purples and oranges in it as well. So let's do that. I'm going to grab my pen here. Because I'm going to just put in the 10 and I'm going to put in the 16 because I can see them through but not really well and then I've got the 22nd and the 28th and those are the only numbers that got covered up with that washi tape so I think we're good to go there I love this and the very mistake, of course, can go like this. I like the little trick or treat. I don't want to use all of them because there are some that I absolutely want to use in my weekly spreads as well. So I like this little skeleton guy. I think he's cute down here. And... Just 
just a turkey. Oh, yeah, Thanksgiving turkey, guys. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to put any more on here. I just have a, enough and enough, or may, maybe I need something right here. What can I put there that is a little bit long-ish? What about this? There, and that's enough. That's enough. And I'm going to call this one done. And I am going to move on to this page right here. So this page is what I call my ideas page now. So I'm going to do... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that one. I changed my mind. I'm just going to do this one. That's kind of the gold. And put it. Right over there. So I think I'm going to do the purple and the orange washi tape again let's grab this and get rid of some of these important dates across the bottom because well number one i don't celebrate any of them except for thanksgiving and it's not on this page and then i'm going to put that one there and the purple one I think this is the opposite that I put it on the other page So all it's taking to tie both of these together is just this little bit of orange and purple washi. Now I'm going to draw some lines in here. So a purple, a light purple. It doesn't show very much, but it is just putting a little bit of color on this line. Maybe if I go just above it, then that purple will show a little bit more. Oh, yes, it does. I think I'm going to go beside this. This is a very fine porous pen optimus medium tip pen. Uh, it's the ink brand from Dollarama. Take note, important, and top three priorities. And then I also have this little bin which has some Halloween things in it. And I've got some of these vintage stickers. These are Timu stickers. I've got some paper scraps left over. I've got some glitter die cuts from Dollarama. And I've got some 
bottle labels, poison bottle labels. But these ones here are vintage Halloween stickers from not purdy. So from I'm thinking there and there. Just something like that. And then go to the November. And this grateful, thankful, blessed. So I'm trying to jump in all over with the colors here. So grateful, thankful, blessed, right in the middle of this page. And then just a couple of vintage, just a couple of vintage. All I want is that I have a little bit of Thanksgiving and a little bit of Halloween on my page. And that's it. So this page here is pretty functional, which means that I write, I just do a lot of writing and a lot of little bits of note taking and stuff on this page. So I don't like to cover it up too, too much. There. So I like it and I like that I've got my three stickers um, attached kind of with this washi strips. There's my porous pen again. I'm going to go down here and maybe put down Halloween DIYs ideas. And I'll do some Halloween DIYs there and then things that I have to get done specifically for October there. So I kind of have my page divided the same way, but very functional, lots of room to write. So let's put this in. If you've been watching me lately, you know that I'm all about making my planners cute, but doing it in the least amount of time in the easiest way possible. And I'm finding that these themed sticker books are really helping to keep me on track. So there's my ideas page. And there's my month at a glance. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let YouTube know you're watching. Let me know what you think of just having this stripe. Is that something, is that awkward looking? Or does it kind of tie both themes together for the month? Uh, I could have done fall flowers. I mean, just by putting this stripe here, I could have done fall flowers and the oranges and yellows and golds all up here or fall leaves. And then I could have done like black and dark red roses on the bottom. So I could have done a transitional, maybe a black strip and a gold strip on here. There's a lot of different things I think that you could do using just a strip like this with two different colored washies to transition from one side to the other. And I do think that there's other ways that you could use it. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd absolutely love if you did that before you left. I mean, help me grow this channel. I'll see everybody in the next video. Until then, bye-bye for now, everyone. Have a really wonderful day.